What is up YouTubers? This is Cobra Timmy and I'm here to show you some garage sale finds from actually this past week. I'm finally catching up. Um, again, all this was done in one day. Uh, I went to, actually no, two days. Uh, once, once I went out on a Thursday and the other, the other stuff I got on Saturday, which was yesterday. Um, went to three subdivision sales and then I went to one other one to check out some games. Um, the first garage sale I went to, I got both of these DS bags. Uh, this blue one zips up, not going to open it up. And then uh, got this Mario bag. Uh, got them both for, I think it was three fifty. dollars not a bad price, you know. So I picked them up. Uh, the rest of the stuff went to some more sales, like I said. Got this PlayStation 2 lanyard for 50 cents. Uh, got this copy of Centipede for, I think this is the Game Boy Color, for a dollar. Um, went to one garage sale, got uh, Namco Museum for the Game Boy Advance, uh, a case for DS, and then uh, Ratchet Deadlocked, complete. Um, I think I paid four bucks all together for this stuff. Uh, and then I went to another one that had a bunch of games for a dollar. So I picked up uh, Sneak King, uh, AMF Extreme Bowling for the original Xbox, uh, Connect Adventures for the 360, uh, ECW Anarchy Rules for the PlayStation, and WWF Wrestle or WWE WrestleMania 21 for the Xbox. So. Five bucks for five games, can't beat that. Uh, might not be nothing cool to anybody else, but whatever. Um, went to the guys, uh, the one that I got the Sega one from. Went back to his garage sale because he had it on another week. So I picked up the rest of these games for two bucks each. Uh, where in time is Carmen San Diego? Uh, Bulls versus Blazers in the NBA playoffs. This will complete that uh, case that I got from the, pack, the flea market. Um, got RBI Baseball for the Super Nin or the regular Nintendo, excuse me. And then I got Lunar Pool. All again were two bucks each. Um. Went to another garage sale, got, I'm a big Marvin the Martian fan, so I got uh, this Marvin keychain holder, kind of cool, 75 cents, can't complain there. Um, went to another garage sale and got Mario Golf Toadstool Tour for the GameCube, this was five bucks. And then I picked up, which I don't know if this was a smart buy or not. Uh, it was a FC Twin. It plays both the Nintendo and Nintendo 64 games. Um, it says Nintendo 64, but part of me wants to think it's uh, Super Nintendo, but I don't know exactly for sure because if it was 64, wouldn't it be a 64 bit down here? I don't know. But uh, it was 25 bucks. Uh, Guy gave me an adapter for it. He says that it goes to this, but if you look on the back here, I don't know if the ratings match. And you know, that's the only problem with people selling systems. If they're not complete, you know, how do people ask for such full prices for them? You know, they should just give you a little bit of a discount on them, or I should have finagled it, but I didn't. Um, but anyways, I got to see if this works. I just bought it, like I said, so I haven't tested it yet. Uh, 
here's uh, the controller for it. I mean, it looks like the Super Nintendo. That's why it's like it's kind of funny that the guy said it plays Nintendo 64 control games. Um, I guess the one thing I could do is put it in there, but I mean, the slot looks like it's for 64. But anywho, that's that. And then the last buy I got out of this was uh, this 120-inch uh, screen projector. Um, the tag on it is $179.99. Uh, the guy had it for sale for $50. Bucks. Uh, I bought a few other items from the same guy. Uh, didn't show that stuff because it's just stuff that's not game related so uh but i brought up to the guy that it was a good buy for it so uh the guy threw out at me you know well what would you be interested in if i lowered the price of it well i think the wife was caught catching on what i was doing because uh she said that i had no use for it and then that's when i countered up and asked well how low would he go uh he went from 50 bucks down to $40. So it was basically an offer I couldn't refuse. Uh, so I picked this up for 40 bucks. Um, it works. I mean, I don't know when I'll use it. Uh, maybe use it when I'm on my own, got my own place or whatever. Uh, could also use it up at our camper that we have. You know, one or the other. There's a few options. So. Uh, also with the FC Twin, I didn't show that it came with Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, so I got another copy of that. Uh, and then on Saturday, I went out, which was yesterday, uh, went out to a garage sale out a little further away th than I usually go. And I went and checked out this guy's garage sale because he had uh, games advertised. I thought maybe systems were there, but I was wrong. Um... But he had a few games that I picked up. I got uh, Tasmania for two bucks. Uh, for the 32X that I got, I have Doom. Uh, big fan of Doom, so this was a cool find for me. Uh, got Defender for the Atari 2600. I don't remember if I have this or not, so I picked it up anyways. And I picked up this Laser Blast. Uh, the label's starting to fall off, but you know. They were a quarter each, so all together I paid four fifty for everything here, which again isn't really bad to me. So these were my garage sale finds for the week, and again, as I end this off, you guys have a good day, happy hunting, and may the treasures come your way. Peace.